Welcome to the Sydney Uni Flame season review. Alongside me is Rachel Herrick, my co-host and partner. We've, we're calling games all throughout the year, all the Sydney Uni games, and today we've got two special guests alongside us who'll be joining us very soon, Belinda Snell and Susie Wormsley. It's exciting times, two players who did a lot this season. Rach, let's talk about the year. I mean, what a season it was for the Flames. It fell agonisingly short, but it was a great season. Yeah, absolutely. It's you know great. We had the one of the best seats in the house. You know, watching the, the games, all the home games, of course, and bringing you those games at home. But um, you know, yes, they feel agonisingly short, but lots to celebrate and lots for the Flames girls to be proud of this year for sure. Thank you for joining us, Susie and Belinda. <laughs> First of all, ladies. I guess we'll talk soon more about what you thought of the season, but I guess the first question we've got to ask is, how did pressure, knowing that you won the competition last season, did that come into your mind at all, or was it just, let's play basketball? Um, I mean, it always it does bring a lot of pressure if you you know, win the championship the, the year before, everyone's kind of coming for you and you've got a target on your back, but um, I think our coach, Cheryl, um, I think she did a great job of just kind of diffusing a lot of that pressure and... Um, yeah, just doing what we do best and, you know, training hard and and focusing on those specific game plans rather than, you know, focusing on what happened last year. I guess yeah. for you, Billy, what, what was your take on Yeah, that? try not to think too much about last season, just focus on the moment and the game that we're going into kind of thing. Obviously, um, yeah, winning last year was great, but, yeah, we more so tried to focus on each game and, um, yeah, go through it from there. <laughs> yeah, and I guess, you know, with, with um, a much shorter season this, this year, there wasn't too much time to, you know, reflect on last year and, you know, reflect on the last game and get on with it. You know, what did you make of the shorter season? It was yeah, yeah. the first time and, you exactly. know, both of you. Absolutely right. And, um, yeah, with, you know, playing two games most weeks, we were kind of, you'd train and focus on that next game ahead and y you didn't really have time to, f to focus, as we said, on last year. It was just kind of... You know, you'd train and focus on that next game and then you'd be, you know, have another day and then you were focusing on one more. So, um, yeah, we we didn't really have that much time to think about the past. Sure. Yeah, it was extremely, like, a difficult season. So it's all over so quick. Um, it was very hectic, but playing the, the games midweek was different for us. But, um, yeah, it didn't give us as much of a chance to get on court and go through a lot at practice. But, um, yeah, obviously the pre-season... You do a bit of that, and um, for me, being one of the <laughs> out, of, <laughs> out of senior players, maybe, um, yeah, it was hard to get a lot of training in. You're more so recovering, getting ready for the next week. You do mention about pre-season. Mm. Did anything change, do you think, this pre-season in terms of how the season progressed? Did you do anything differently, or was it all pretty much the same as last season? Um, I think uh, there was players coming in a bit later just from um, Siebel commitments or, uh, yeah, playing overseas, but... Um, it was, yeah, Sam had us working hard for, yeah, pretty much a month before the season. Mm. Yeah, and we were lucky enough, really, to have virtually the whole team kind of coming back this year. Um, yeah, we, we had, yeah, most of the players coming back. Um, so we were kind of able to roll into the season. And even though, as Snelly said, there were players coming into the, the team later, um, most of us had played together before. Yeah. So that helps so much, yeah. kind of rolling into a season that yeah. kind of happens very quickly. And now, Susie, you played with the Sparks in the off-season, so surely that would have helped. And what did you think of you know, the first season with the Sparks? And then did that help you guys rolling into that transition into the National League season? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was a great, yeah, it's a great program. and. We were really lucky to yeah, have our first year in Siebel and I think we, we did a lot better than expected and it was great to ha be under the guidance of um, Cheryl and Karen and also we had Snelly and Hayley. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> super coaches. Um, yeah, we yeah. And also had Hayley Moffat um, who were coaching us throughout the season. Yeah. So to get that, the experience um, coming from them is yeah. unbelievable and we were able to have a lot of girls who became our development players for yeah. the Flames. Um, in the team and getting a great experience. So, yeah, that really helps. Yeah, I think um, they've definitely showed a lot of improvement from playing Seaball and yeah. coming in and even the girls that are, um, have been, the development girls coming through training, some of them, um, yeah, were almost pushing for spots in, in the flames throughout the season. But, um, yeah, their time will come. But, yeah, they've definitely, I think they've shown a lot of improvements along the way. Mm. 
obviously you did some coaching. A little bit, I yeah. Guess. <laughs> but that, as, we, as the girls just, just um, mentioned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did did you bring anything that you learned into the team? Or did anything change in your mindset? Um, I just try and have a lot of patience as a coach. Um, <laughs> I more so like it when a coach is being very positive and um, a bit constructive as well. So uh, just um, yeah, trying to yeah help the players along and do, um, take my knowledge that I've had throughout my many years playing and try and help the young ones with that. So no Leilani in this team this season. Of course, Katie Ray comes into the squad. How excited were you knowing that she was coming in and obviously no Leilani? Did you have any self-doubt or were you sure that Katie would do the job and you were very confident? Yeah, absolutely. Katie's a great player. She's, you know, had experience being to the Olympics and um, I've been lucky enough to kind of grow up playing with her back in Newcastle. So, yeah, I mean, we all had great faith in her and as she showed, she had a great season and, um, yeah. Yeah, she handled it she, very well, playing exactly. the point for, yeah, yeah 35 minutes a game and, um, yeah, that's definitely, I think, um, helped her... Uh, develop her game as well. Oh, it's been um, difficult uh, for her, but um, definitely she had an outstanding season. And she went down with an ankle injury. When she went down, I guess your thoughts on the bench were, okay, one, there's court time in unfortunate situation for yourself, but how did you take that role? Were you, were you pretty confident that that was going to be okay for yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Um, at training, I guess, um, yeah, coach always puts a lot of faith in me to, you know, go up, a, up against Katie every day at training. So, um, I mean, she's one of the best in the country. So if you're training against her <laughs> yeah. every week, I mean, That's you're going right. to do okay, I think, against, yeah, other girls in the other team. So I think I just had that mindset that, yeah, just come out and give it my best, really. Do you feel like you need to step up yourself? Um, I just try and help out with the organisation on the court when um, yeah, Katie wasn't there, but I think Susie did a good job coming in, Sarah Graham um, helping out when Katie missed those couple of games. Uh, yeah, but it, it's definitely helping the girls long term, getting that experience. Sure, and I, I, I guess now we've had, you had a few great wins, you had a few tough losses, and I suppose your mindset always tends to drop a bit when you lose, but you also had some amazing wins. I guess for Cheryl, the hardest part was trying to control what you guys were thinking, your thoughts throughout the game. Uh, did you have any help outside of, I guess, the team vicinity? And did anyone help you outside basketball to try to get your mindset switched on? And what did Cheryl say to you guys throughout all those? Through the, yeah, we did have, a, we had a couple of patches where we weren't, you know, doing so well. And um, I think as a team, we were really lucky. We were quite close and, um, yeah, just kind of, talking with each other and kind of everyone you know we had a great support network so I think having majority of the team back from last year and um, everyone knowing each other a bit better certainly helped as well and uh, yeah that's the best thing about it being in a team environment you guys have each other to help you you guys have each other to help each other out and, and get along really well I suppose off the court do you guys do anything together that throughout the season to get each other more bonded or yeah, the season was so <laughs> so busy. We were like, yeah. um, we had a few little uh, get-togethers, and um, yeah, I, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, we got to. Yeah. We we did. What we got to. to <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, and I guess like looking at the season, so you know, I'll ask you first, is it, what a highlight for you, or what was the you know, the highlight for the season for you? Goodness. Might be a win or something off the, you know, off the court, or I guess with you know, such a con condensed season, you know, there are games that you know, meant more, or you know, I, mean, what, I remember watching that game against that Adelaide game, and yeah, that was a tough one. But oh, absolutely, you know, yeah. and I think yeah, those the couple of wins we had um, over the Christmas period. Yeah. I mean, beating sure. Adelaide in overtime that was a huge win, yeah. um, and kind of kept us in contention for finals when yeah. you know there were so many teams that were so close. Like, yeah towards the very end of the season. Um, yeah. There was, yeah, five or six of us who were really vying for those four final spots. Mm. Yeah, you, fought, you guys fought so hard, I guess, that, you know, the back end leading into Christmas and those games and that overtime against Adelaide and that last game against Townsville, that you fight so hard to, to win second position and then you have to go away and then, then come back. So I guess, you know, whether it's something that the league looks at next yeah. year, I don't know. Uh, uh, we knew yeah. that was going to be the case, away yeah. home home for the yeah. first sec and second team. Um, I just would have liked maybe a little bit more break in between sure, yeah. going away to play that first game. I think we only got one training session in between that yeah. time. And even with Perth, they went, flew straight from Townsville to Melbourne. So just maybe if they're looking at it again, maybe a little bit more time between 
yeah, um, no. the end of the season and coming back and, and playing. Put, I the guess, as, you know, as the team that's finished higher, it puts so much more pressure on you guys for game one. Yeah, you know, and it's, it. and it's. Mm. Oh well, we'll see yeah. what happens. Did you think the season was tougher with a lot of stars coming back in the comp? Obviously, with the deal being on Fox Sports, more interest from stars. What did you think of the season in terms of the caliber of players? Oh, absolutely. It was um, yeah. Uh, there were so many strong teams out there. Adelaide um, uh, definitely improved from last season, mm. and uh, yeah, obviously having so many players come back from Europe and playing Kayla George. Uh, Liz Cambridge, like Jenna O'Hay, Rachel Jarry, like so yeah, many absolutely. players coming back into the league. So it was such a, a strong league and such a great showcase of women's basketball. It was great that it's been back on Fox Sports. You had fantastic depth in your squad this season and it, it just seemed like everyone gelled together from, from the outset and it just comes down to the coaching. But I suppose as well, it's the fans as well that make a big difference to the team. I mean, just cheering you guys on every single game and the yeah, turnouts yeah. were pretty good this season as well. Yeah, definitely the atmosphere at, at the stadium was uh, so much fun to play in front of and yeah, our supporters have always been um, yeah loud and get get into it get involved in the games and um really help us out um yeah even win or lo lose they're always there supporting us mm. yeah and we had a, a new mascot this year oh, yes Slicker. of course I think <laughs> she was great all the kids yeah. loved Slicker, so it was good I to love yeah i mean so did i that one game in the semi-final where i got to sit in the stands and watch yeah. and i was like oh Right, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Volunteering to be flicking it. Yeah. Yeah. Bust out some moves. I don't think it's going to be pre in the pre season shreds. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm mad at Rach was in the commentary booth. You think that she'd be very close to uh, Get in there. putting on the suit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. And I guess, Susie, now, well, yeah, I guess we'll have a chat about, you know, we've talked about some on court stuff now. During the season, there was loads of off-court accolades, you know, for the Flames, so... Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I mean, playing with the calibre of, you know, the girls on the team has yeah. been amazing. We've had, you know, Asia was selected in the All-Star 5, sure. which is a huge achievement, but, um, she, you know, her, um, Snelly and Jen were also Player of the Week, and then, you know, Asia was Team of the Week six times. Regular, and, you yeah. know, Snelly, Katie and Jen were named many times as well. So it's, you know, great to that they can, you know, get that recognition. Mission. And, you know, throughout the season, there were so many great performances. You know, Ali really stepped up a lot of times yeah. and, you know, can knock down the three, got the crowd yeah. going. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had a few yeah. as well. I know, Jen throwing it down and having a few dunks during, you know, the warm-ups, which was, I mean, we wish she could have done it in the game, <laughs> but, you know, she next was close. time. She, she, was the game, yeah. she was on the break. She I got know, the steal, she, she was on the break, and then yeah. someone stopped. Oh, yeah, she, <laughs> she did, but yeah, there were so many exciting moments um, throughout yeah. the season, and yeah, while well, we couldn't really get it done in the end, um, so much to yeah, celebrate. So much to yeah. celebrate, absolutely. What yeah. was your most enjoyable moment of the season? Um, probably getting to travel with the girls yeah. and getting to play um, in you know different cities in Australia. I mean, it's experience that you just can't buy. It's just one of those things that you know you. are you grow up as a kid and dream of doing those kind of things and um, playing with, you know, Triple Olympian Snelly was one of my <laughs> idols as a kid. So, I mean, that's, that's amazing. That's um, great. Yeah, really exciting and a really enjoyable experience. Sure. Yeah, that was, yeah, great. Yeah, and you for a trip, so, although they're so far away, but um, I think yeah. the girls enjoyed those trips. We yeah. stayed in penthouses over there. Like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> we got looked after over there. Sure. I might have yeah. taken a little while to <laughs> yeah, check in and stuff, but it was fine. Yeah. And, yeah it was, um, yeah, they were fun tri road trips oh, as well. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And I guess you were talking about bonding and stuff and what do you guys do? I guess they're the... You know the moments on the road that you know you can't plan or anything, but they're the, oh. mo the most enjoyable time that you've yeah. you've only got each other. You know, friends and family back home. So you know, your friends become your teammates, become your family. Oh, absolutely, and, and yeah. you're sharing a room, yeah. and you you know everyone has such such Intricate, great personalities, yeah, but yeah. different personalities <laughs> yeah. on the yeah, team. Yeah, different and routines oh, every game, absolutely. but we know who the coffee drinkers are in the team. <laughs> <laughs> we absolutely do the pre-game coffee. Oh, yeah, sure. coffee shout lots of coffee runs to yeah. uh, shout out to Nat. Nat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. 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 Who would be the yeah. funniest person on the team then? 
after spending so much time oh, with each other. Oh, goodness, there's so many. Shanae and Sarah bounce off oh, each yeah. other pretty well. <laughs> yeah, um, they've got some crackers. And um, also, Tay's yeah. great. She's great quality to be around, always positive, always very lighthearted. And, you know, when she's on the court, quite serious as we all are, but off the court can throw on a few dance moves. <laughs> 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 Yeah. And for you, Snelly, I guess your most memorable moment besides the travelling part, the 300 games, of course, uh, the, the, <laughs> the exciting component to the season. Ooh, what was your favourite moment? Uh, pro probably, um, oh, I don't know, there's been quite a few different yeah. moments. And um, I know when Cheryl got a tech fouling Danny Long for yelling at me, that was quite oh, hilarious. Can um, you elaborate? It was during the game. Yeah, obviously. I missed a box out. Cheryl was yelling at me and managed to. Get a tech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, team rules. Is, is, that, is that a case from Cheryl? Yeah, I is think. It? Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get her a bottle of red. And, yeah. Well, it doesn't happen too often, does it? No, no. Cheryl I don't up. think did Cheryl get any other tech fouls? <laughs> no, I'm not, not that I just think. Uh, of. Yeah, sorry, Cheryl. But she has some brilliant <laughs> halftime conversations with you guys. Yeah, what were they? Yeah. Very yeah, hard. absolutely. I can't even think of it. <laughs> <laughs> the refocusing of the mindset. Yeah, that's yeah. it. <laughs> that's it. Well, thanks, ladies, for joining us on this uh, Flames review. Mm -hmm. Rach, thank you for mm -hmm. tuning in and uh, jumping on board. Oh, look, it's been my pleasure, and thank you for being the best co-host I've ever had. So, thank you. <laughs> Vice versa. Yeah, thank so you to you. both you guys for yeah. yeah. helping yeah. out. Thanks, enjoy thanks, enjoy your winter, yeah. of course, Nelly. All the best with the Com Games stuff thank and the Opals. You. We'll be. Rooting for you. Thanks. And Susie, enjoy your off season too. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks. <laughs>